I saw this guy, this amazing, beautiful looking boy. And, you know, made the eye. Sup? And, um, yeah, I didn't really expect him to come out of all, but he did. Um, yeah, I'm with Jacob. He's like, ah, oh, hey, I'm Bernardo. So that was cool. Just talking to the American for a little bit more. He was still taking my phone and going outside and talking and whatever. I'm like, hey, I got it. I was in cloud nine. I was walking on air. This is where there's a brief intermission in the night's festivities. Next thing I can remember, uh, I was outside of uh, the pussy bar. Doing the what's what's over wallet keys phone 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 like I I don't know what your problem is I don't care uh, I don't care um I I need to find my phone I need to find my phone I need to find my phone I can find it on me but being me these things always turn up. <laughs> My phone is gone. My phone's gone. It's not there. No phone. Which means I had no Google Maps. I had no Google Translate. My internet banking was gone. I had none of my travel apps that had all my itineraries and plans and things. Um, that was gone. My contacts, all that phone stuff, normal phone stuff was gone. So at this stage I'm thinking, fuck Mexico. I fucking hate it here. I hate Mexico. I still had another week in Mexico City to um, till my group tour started. I just wanted the group tour to start now so I could get out and have someone hold my hand and take me around. I had a shower and I kind of was a bit mopey, but I was like, no, I'm gonna have a good day today. And um, I remembered Bernardo. And I remembered we were supposed to meet up in a few hours after we finished class. And uh, I messaged him on Facebook. And he's like, hey, I've been trying to contact you all morning. His Facebook obviously had that message, uh, that accent in his message. And uh, like, oh, I'm so sorry, I lost my phone last night. He's like, oh my God. So, I don't know. It seems like the random things that brought him there that night and all the random things that I told you about that brought me there that night, it seems like destiny that brought us together that night. I do believe that. Uh, and then for us to be able, even after I've lost my fucking phone, for us to still be able to meet each other. What are the odds of that, man? What are the odds? I'm still going through my head if that was a... And the amount of pain that's also caused me. I still don't know if it was a good thing or a bad thing, but um, I think it's a good thing. Bernardo meets me at the hostel and like, can we go back to the pussy bar and just ask if they might have found my phone and someone might have handed it in? And he kind of laughs a little bit and says, okay. And uh, after, you know, after my months in Mexico, uh, I realized that's not how things work in Mexico. Just look at an iPhone, it's, it's gone, it's gone. Uh, it was gone. It was gone. No, and I think the, the bar staff that were there kind of laughed and went, no, it's gone. Anyway. Uh, so we checked out the Angel of Independence monument. That was pretty cool. We went in there. And then we walked to Chipotle Castle in the Chipotle Park. And as we were walking, we were holding hands and it was very couple-y. And we were talking about Mexico and Australia. I wasn't used to public displays of affection. It's just not something that happens here in, let alone gay couples, but straight couples. And um, let alone on kind of a first date. But yeah, we were holding hands and things down the street and old ladies were saying things like, oh, you two are too handsome to be gay. And I was like, wow. I like that. I like this country. This is cool. Yeah, you know, we were going around Chipotlebeck Castle, and what would be the equivalent in Australia? Um, I don't know, some national museum or something like that, which we don't have that many. Some very public place, but we were holding hands and kissing and doing very couple things, very intimate things. What really 
said, well, no one said anything, and no one batted an eye, really. Um, other couples were doing it, straight couples, but still. And um, it was fine. I was thinking, okay, for my week here, I'm going to pretend I have a boyfriend while I'm with him. Obviously, I'm still on holiday and a single man when I'm not with him. Um, but that's what I was thinking at the time. Uh, anyway, we went around to Montevideo Castle. Beautiful. So much history uh, I had no idea about in Mexico. French invasion with so much, so many rebellions and so many things that happened. So interesting. We don't have that here. We went around Chapultepec Park. Again, so beautiful. I learned more and more about Mexico, and he was telling me some amazing things I would never have learned by myself. And then we kind of walked around Zona Rosa, because we were looking for cabinas. And sex shops there are much like they're not hidden like they are in Australia. They're on the street. They're very clean. They're very open. Everyone goes in and have a look. It's great. It's much. It's nicer. But um, the cabins there, the cabinas, the little sex rooms, it was our first time. And it was amazing. And we never had bad sex. I will fucking miss that. Even long distance, the sex was fucking amazing. Um, but yeah, I won't go into details, but... Oh, anyway. So we got up in Coyoacan, and it's a beautiful, beautiful suburb. It's where um, Cortez had his... Hacienda, his mansion, uh, set out kind of outside of the main area of Mexico City, back in the Conquistador days. Um, his mansion is still there, it's the town hall, and um, yeah, it's lots of beautiful buildings, it's trees with gum on them that people just stick on it that you would think was gross, but they even look beautiful, and we got some tacos, and Micheladas, my favorite drink in the world. It's uh, so it's like Worcestershire sauce, some salsa, some chili, some HP sauce, and um, a few other bits and pieces, and whatever beer that you would like to order. And oh my god, so good, so good. You have to try it. Haven't been able to get a good one here yet. Anyway. So we did that, and we got to Frida's house. <sighs> to be in the same place where Frida Kahlo lived and worked and suffered. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's wondrous, beautiful soul. Suffered and loved and lived. Inspired so many millions of people, including myself. Um, Wild. And it's also where the film was actually filmed, so it's like that in itself is a, a pretty amazing thing. It's also where me and Bernardo, after you know, looking back at it, that was where we both were like, this isn't just a holiday thing. That was the day that we knew we were falling in love with each other. That was the day that it's like, yeah, this is something. It's a good day. Anyway, yeah, we went to a market, and this is around when we were supposed to meet Rodrigo. And I was like, this is going to be more, more, more awkward. Totally was. Um, totally was. Uh, I didn't, because I really liked Rodrigo and I really liked Bernardo. And I was holding both their hands and I was like, is this going to become a threesome? I don't know. And maybe that's okay. Maybe that's a good thing. I could go with that. That's alright. Maybe it will. Maybe that's the way this is going to play out. Alright, though. Anyway, we had a few drinks. We got this one drink. What's it called? It's 
made of the same stuff as tequila. It's sweet and there are so many different flavors of it. And it's really strong. It's really good. Yeah, that. Oh. And um, yeah, it's a really great day. So yes, I was falling in love. But I'm also still single and on holiday. And I'm in Zona Rosa. And um, I don't know, I was sharing a room with other gay guys. And uh, well, I didn't have to go out. It was a good room. It was a good hostel. That was my first couple of days in Mexico City, my first two days anyway. I will let you in on how the rest of the week went next time on Down Under and South of the Border. Remember to hit the subscribe button, it would mean the world to me. Um, let's connect, leave a comment below, let me know what you like, what you don't like, what you want to hear about more from. Um, we've got some great stuff coming up, um, more, more about the holiday obviously, um, more about what's happening here in Australia. Uh, more about everything really. Uh, remember to like Down Under and South of the Border on Facebook. That's where all the social media is getting wrangled. Follow me on Instagram for butt shots and all kinds of other fun things. And love you guys. Have a great, great day, night, week, year, life. Love you. Adios amigos.